Today, I'm gonna to show you in this video some of my professional skincare products that I recommend in clinic to my patients, tell you a little bit about what's in them and why we recommend them in a medical clinic setting. Because we're in my clinic, I'm really lucky that I have a piece of equipment called the Observe. And that is a machine or a camera that takes pictures of my skin in different lights. And it's great to tell me what's wrong with my skin. It can be really difficult sometimes to know what the best brands are and what products you need for your skin. Tracy. Yes. Hi. Would you please do a skin observe on me so that we can yeah. look at products and things? Should we do it now? Yeah. yeah. So I'm just about to have my skin analysed by Tracy with the observe machine. I'm a little bit nervous because I've never had it done before. I use a lot of skincare, so I wanna see if it's working. So this first picture, Trace, this is what it looks like in the day. I mean, looking at it, overall it looks quite good, yeah. but it's not very clear where the problematic areas are from that picture. So now we're on to Parallel Polarize, yeah? Yes. Okay. And what that shows is the oils in your ah, skin. Ah, yeah, so okay. You so you can see in the T-zones really, in yeah. this sort of area between, in, on the frown area, you can see the more open, open pores, pores and yeah. the more oil in the skin there. Yeah. And then the next one, <gasps> that's, that is not me. Oh that shows all your, your, the, the true... Is that sun damage? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. For a man, I've been quite good. Yeah. Since I've been in my mid-twenties, I've used sunblock. Yeah, I know you But have. when you think about it, some of no. this... And I've always used a high factor. So there's either two things going on. One, my sunblock isn't as good as it should be or it hasn't been in the hasn't past. Been in the past, Or yeah. this is UV damage from when I was younger. Crazy. That is very scary. Yeah, it is. But great to see and really highlights yes. the importance of a good sunblock. Absolutely, yeah. So which one's this? That's the woods like that. So the good thing about this picture is it's shown both the UV damage and the broken veins. Yeah. It's showing me exactly maybe what products or what treatments I need Absolutely, for my skin. Yeah. For skincare, I think that gives me a good idea of what to target it on. Absolutely. So as you can see from the Observe and the pictures of my skin, I'm gonna to talk to you now about three products. As a person who wants to buy skincare, it must be really overwhelming when you go into a shop. There are thousands of products. Where do you start? What's this got? What does that do? And if you're anything like me, when you read the box or the label, you think, oh, that sounds like it'd be good for my skin. And then you pick up another product and you think, oh, maybe this one's the one. So how do you decide? Another thing is when you speak to a lot of doctors or you watch their videos and they're talking about skincare in their clinic, then they're usually selling that skincare. So you think, oh, well, how do you know if their opinion's unbiased or not? So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the three different types of products and I'm gonna give you some different examples. I'm gonna give you some examples of products that I sell in my clinic and I recommend to my patients. I'm gonna recommend a few that I found in the high street that I think are pretty good and just other ones along my travels and ways where I found this product's really helpful. So the first product you need is a good cleanser that you can use morning and night. Now on the Observe, it showed that I had some oil in my skin and I also had some open pores. So I want a cleanser that's gonna be able to tackle some of that oil, remove some of the oil, give my skin a good clean, improve the turnover of my skin to help reduce the pores without stripping it. So a product that I use on my skin a lot is something called the Foma 5, or Foma 15 is the stronger version, and I've used both. These cleansers are cleansers that I have in my clinic and I recommend to my patients. It's important that we don't strip the skin and take too much oil out. So glycolic acid is a really good one. Glycolic acid on some people is quite irritating if they've got sensitive skin, so you might not always want an acidic cleanser. If that's the case, then something like Medicate has a gentle cleanser. Now, I don't sell this in my clinic, but I've found that this is a really good all-rounder for all skin types. It's got rosemary in it, which is very soothing. It also maintains the pH of the skin and it's quite hydrating. So this product is a great all-rounder. The last cleanser I'm gonna recommend to you is actually a high street product. It's this Clinique for Men charcoal face wash. Now it says for men, but charcoal face washes are now quite trendy. And the reason why charcoal is, is a talking point for cleansers is because they can penetrate the skin, they help reduce the oil, they remove dirt very well, and they don't dry out your skin. So they're very, very effective at cleansing the skin. So I hope that on cleansers helps clear things up for you and narrow things down on why certain products might be in different ones. Now, if you've got problematic skin or if you've got acne and things, don't worry, I'm gonna do some separate videos tackling those issues in the future.
The second product, very important product, is a vitamin C serum or cream. Vitamin C is an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory. Antioxidants are really important because they neutralize and remove free radicals. Free radicals damage your tissue. The best antioxidant to put on your skin is vitamin C. Now again, the product that I recommend in my clinic for professional use is the Abaji C serums. And this comes in different strengths. And the one I've got here is a 15%, which is my favorite one. It's a very, very potent vitamin C serum. This is really important for my skin if we go back, think back to my pictures, because also it reduces inflammation and redness. And I've got some broken veins and a little bit of redness in my forehead and my T-zones. So the vitamin C serum is really gonna help calm that down. It's gonna help prevent further damage to my skin from free radicals and UV. And it's just a great anti-aging product all round. This particular one is in the region of anywhere from 80 to 95 pounds. So that's quite expensive. It's worth it, but it's expensive. The other thing about this is that it's a serum and I have to pipette it and into drops. And it's a glass bottle. So it's not always the most practical thing for me when I'm traveling. I've broken a few of these in my case a few times. It goes everywhere, it's on my clothes. So it's great at home, but when you're on your travels, it's a little bit more awkward to use. Don't get me wrong, this product, when it comes to vitamin C, this is the Rolls Royce. If you want a good alternative for when you travel though, and again, I don't sell this one, but I use it and I take it everywhere, is my Dr. Dennis Gross Vitamin C Spray. This is really good because I can just spray it on my face. It's very easy to use. It's in a plastic bottle, so you're not gonna break it. And it's about a third of the price. It's not as good an antioxidant as my Abaji, but it's great for me on the go. I'm always on planes and trains and traveling. My skin dries out, so I always have this handy. The other thing for girls, when you apply your makeup or if you wanna retouch your makeup, you can use this to set it. So it's a really, really handy product to have. It's a good price and I love it. So we've cleansed the skin, we've protected the skin, and now we're gonna prevent further damage. So my third and final product and the most important product you can put on your skin is a good SPF. There's a lot of stuff out there in the media at the moment about SPF. Some people are saying that mineral SPF is better than chemical SPF. Really, it doesn't matter as long as you protect your skin from getting sunburn in the first place. The other thing is, it's very important. People think that sunblock is just for when it's sunny. You need to use an SPF on your skin every day. On a dullish day in January, the UVA is probably the same as it is in a summer's day. And actually, a lot of the photo aging that we see in the skin is caused by UVA, not necessarily UVB. If you get an SPF, make sure that it's both UVA and UVB. Here at my clinic, we sell a lot of different SPFs, but remember that we're doing a lot of laser treatments, resurfacing treatments, chemical peels, injectables. So we're gonna want different SPFs for different treatments for the patients. So rather than me stand here and recommend all my different in-clinic SPFs, like my Abagis and my Dermaceutics, which are all amazing products, I'm gonna recommend three on the high street or more readily available that I think are pretty good. So my first product, I love it that much that I'm down to my sample one now. This is the Brightening UV Defense by SkinCeuticals. SkinCeuticals are an excellent cosmeceutical range of products, but this product is, is priced around the 30 to 35 pound mark, but it's excellent. What's also really good about this is it's great for my skin type because as you can see on my pictures, I've got UV sun damage and I've got pigmentation. So these kind of products really help target to prevent more further damage. The last thing about this skin suit schools is it's an SPF 30. Now, a lot of people say, oh, you need an SPF 40 or 50, but actually this one is very, very good. The second SPF I'm gonna recommend is the one my wife Hannah uses all the time. So I nick this out of hers, but it's actually a really good SPF. Now I've given her loads of fancy SPFs before from the clinic, but she likes this one. And she likes this because it's nice and light and it sits under her makeup. So again, pretty good product, high factor. You can buy this anywhere. My third and final product is my favorite. I have saved the best to last. I'm not gonna lie, this product is not cheap. It's pretty expensive. It's around the 80 to 90 pound mark. 
So it's not a cheap product. So you can buy SPFs for a lot less. I love this product and it's a great story because many years ago, a patient of mine who's a dentist came in to see me for treatment and they were talking to me about the SPFs and how they'd ordered one and they just didn't like it. They couldn't get on with it. So they gave it me. And I'll be honest with you, this thing sat on the side of my clinic for ages. And one day I picked it up and I thought, I'm gonna give it a whirl and I've been in love with it ever since. Any woman I know who's tried this product absolutely loves it. What's great as well is it covers up imperfections. So if you've got little broken veins or sunspots and things, it hides it all. So it's got great protection and it makes your skin look great. So hey guys, I hope you found that useful. Just to be clear, this isn't a sponsored video. These products are straight out of my bathroom cupboard. There's a huge industry out there with millions of products and this represents a very, very small sample of them but they're some of my favorite products that I personally use. So they're my personal favorites. I hope if you were looking at skincare and you weren't sure what the most important things to use on your skin was, this has helped you a little bit. If you've got problematic skin like acne or if you've got pigmentation, don't worry. In the future, I'm gonna do separate videos. I'm gonna do some for acne. I'm gonna do some for pigmentation and the use of retinols. I'm gonna do lots of different videos, so there's gonna be a lot more coming. If you've got any comments, feedback, or you'd like to tell me what videos that you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. I'll see you again.